Welcome to the exit ticket for Module 3, Lesson 6, titled Rational Numbers on the Number Line. Keyword right here, rational numbers. What does the term rational numbers mean? This exit ticket goes into an exploration of what a rational number is, and if you can nail down what a rational number is and specifically graph it on the number line today, then I believe you will meet the objective. Uh, first of all, it says use the number line diagram below to answer the following questions. All right, really key uh, thing to notice here is that we have a number line that begins with zero, has quite a few marks in between negative one and zero, and once again, quite a few marks in between zero and one. Really interesting, it's a little bit different than the number lines we've seen before, uh, where you can count by ones, twos, tens, twenties, uh, what have you, but this number line is counting by numbers that are smaller than one. Uh, right away, I'm gonna go ahead and start numbering this um, in order to know what is the interval on this number line i need to know how many spaces are between zero and one so count with me one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve great now i know that there are 12 spaces between zero and one that means that each space each interval must represent one twelfth I'm going to go ahead and number the entire number line, each time counting up by one on my numerator, keeping my denominator as 12s. And what you're going to see here is that when we get to the end of this number line, we will have one whole. Right, so we, have we have 11 12s, and then we actually have one which is equal to 12 12s. Right? So you can see the number line goes by a fraction. Uh, the same thing would apply in the negative direction. Question number one, what is the length of each segment on the number line? Well, the fact that I already numbered my number line, I have my answer. Each segment on a number line, what they're referring to is one segment equals one twelfth. Question number two, what number does point K represent? Well, once again, we have that answer is already taken care of. The answer is eight twelfths. Question number three, what is the opposite of point K? Well, opposites work exactly the same as they do with integers. Remember, an integer is a whole number that is positive, negative, or zero. The easy way is to identify that the number is eight twelfths, so the opposite is simply the negative version of that. If the number were negative, it would just be the positive version of that number. Uh, the longer explanation is just to show that eight twelfths is eight spaces away from zero on this particular number line. So if I count eight spaces to the left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then I have the opposite of point K. The opposite of point K is negative eight twelfths. So there we have it. The opposite of point K is negative eight twelfths. Question number four, locate the opposite of point K on the number line and label it point L. Go ahead and switch up color here. There it is. And to make it easier to see, there it is, a negative eight twelfths. All right, I have uh, the opposite of K, which is negative eight twelfths. I have zero identified on my number line. And then I also have my original uh, K, which is eight twelfths. So number four, mission accomplished. Number five. Uh, so in this question, I have to create a story problem. In the diagram above, zero represents the location of Martin Luther King Middle School. Point K represents the library, which is located to the east of the middle school. In words, create a real-world situation that could represent point L and describe its location in relation to zero and point K. So one thing I'm going to do is I noticed they mentioned east and west. So I'm going to go ahead and label. They say that point K represents the library which is to the east of the school. So east is in the direction of the library, which is point K. Uh, they say that point zero represents the school. I'm gonna go ahead and give it the initials MLK, which stands for Martin Luther King. And they want me to identify point L. I forgot to label it as an L earlier. Uh, they want me to create a story that represents what L could be in relation to the school and the library. Well, if the east is over here, the west is going to have to be over here. So in my story, 
I want to make sure I use that word west because the word east was used in the description. All right, I came up with this story. Uh, point L represents the park, which is 8 twelfths of a mile to the west of Martin Luther King Middle School. The park is on the opposite side of the library and both are 8 twelfths of a mile away from the school, but in opposite directions. All right, here we have our module three, lesson six exit ticket. Uh, once again, the main idea, rational numbers. If you feel like you could graph rational numbers on a number line, in other words, can you graph fractions on a number line? Uh, in other situations, can you graph decimals on a number line? Uh, if you feel strongly about that, then you've met today's objective. Um, main idea was to count how many spaces there were between zero and one in order to identify what the interval on the number line was. If you could create a really decent story representing uh, this number line, uh, then you have gone above and beyond. Congratulations.